All right, folks, take two. For some reason, my internet crashed, and um, I just lost everything. So I figure I'll start over again. I'll delete the last one, which wasn't uh, complete, and start over again. So today, good morning, if you're from sunny North Carolina. It's uh, now 930, and a beautiful day. In just a little while, I'll be having church with my family inside the house. We're going virtually online today. Uh, and through the month of July, our church has decided to stay virtual just to be safe with the corona and um, make sure that things are good to go. So anyway, we're home and uh, I'll be going in there shortly. We'll have some breakfast and a good time as family. So I wanted to share with you today out of Isaiah chapter 40. Um, again, you know, for those of you that aren't followers of Christ, this is by no means meant to be preachy, but hopefully just an opportunity for you to experience some things that have meant a lot to me over my time. You know, I've been a, I've battled a lot and I'll share with you some of those things after we go to the other me sharing with you Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, 27 through 31 says, Why would you ever complain, O Jacob, or wine, Israel, saying God has lost track of me? He doesn't care what happens to me. Don't you know anything? Haven't you been listening? God doesn't come and go. God lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired out, doesn't pause to catch his breath, and he knows everything inside and out. He energizes those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts. For even young people tire and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall. But those who wait upon God get their fresh start. They spread their wings and soar like eagles. They run and don't get tired. They walk and they don't lag behind. Maybe you can relate to, uh, to that scripture. There's a lot of of um, information there that has been special to me over my life. I uh, didn't always know it because I wasn't raised as a Christian, but of course back in the day, you know, I've struggled as, as a young person. Um, I got involved in drugs and alcoholism. I, uh, I was in the army in the war. I had several businesses. I uh, went to school, you know, now battling cancer. I've been battling cancer for nine years. Uh, it's been quite an amazing, amazing and hard battle. And uh, that scripture, oops, sorry, wrong side of the screen. That scripture really, really digs into some of those things. Like, have you ever felt alone? Have you ever felt like God's not there? Have you ever felt like you are at the end of your rope? You have no more strength to make it through? Um, that's so true of many of us. And yet that scripture says there is always hope. There's always opportunity to get stronger. And... Um, you know, that's been a powerful scripture for me to understand that, that truth, even when I didn't want to, even when I felt like I couldn't or shouldn't, um, he's always been there for me. And, you know, obviously here on LinkedIn, I don't uh, preach that much here. And on Sundays, I take some time to, to share some of God's word with you and hopefully be able to share with you some of the things that it's meant to me in my life. And um, I hope that it's important to you. I hope it means something to you. For those of you that aren't followers of Christ, that are following along with what I'm saying and sharing this morning, um, I hope you can understand what that is and uh, just look into what, what those words say and what they've said to me and I wonder what they might say to you. So for those of you that are listening today, thank you for so much being here for another Sunrise Sunday for a brief moment that we have to share God's word. And uh, I want to see what it means to you in the comments below. What does it mean to you to be able to go through those times, those hard times and feel like sometimes God's not even there or or um, abandoned or alone or tired, feel like you don't even have the strength to make it through. And then maybe you found that there was the opportunity to make it through. There was the strength to mount up with wings as eagles, right? To fly above it all. They soar above all the other birds, right? It's a pretty amazing, amazing picture. What's that look like for you today? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Below here, uh, boop, boop, there, oh, giant finger, woo, there we are. And uh, I'd love to share that with you in time, and uh, we'll go back and forth and talk about it today. All right, next week I have some great stuff coming up, some more information about new shows happening here with Matt Chat Lives, and uh, I hope that you'll be able to tune in and get some more information about those this week because they're all for you, all for you. And I'm so excited to do everything I do here to try to bring you great value in your life. And if you'd like to learn more about what that looks like, uh, you know, as a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with me as your coach, of course, feel free to jump onto my website at mattcrump.tv. Pretty simple, mattcrump.tv. And let's chat about it. Let's see what it takes to flip out. All right, God bless you, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. For those of you that are already finishing up and moving into a work week, you've got the strength. Just don't give up. All right, God bless you, my friends.